it's the first day where it's actually cold here where I live in Nashville and I am so sad about it. I'm so sad. I've been in the bed for a little bit, but I need to go ahead and get up and start my day. Today, I want to do all the cozy things and just get myself out of the slump that I'm feeling because I hate the cold weather. But I think this little string of activities and self-care tips will really help me to jumpstart my day and not to feel so down in the dumps. And I hope these self-care tips can help you out as well. I feel it a little stuffy, so I'm going to go ahead and have to the shower and hopefully that steam will get to me and I'll start to feel a little bit better about today. Another healthy habit for the winter is making sure you eat breakfast because if I wasn't making myself a healthy breakfast right now, I would probably be eating cookies in bed, not gonna lie to you, but I'm trying to make sure that I eat breakfast every single day. So today I am doing something quick. All you need is something quick and I'm doing a smoked salmon bagel. Um, and some orange juice so I can get my omega-3s and I can get my vitamin C for the day. So let me go ahead and toast up this bagel real quick and I'll check in with you all in a little bit. I am so excited today because we're making apple cider. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I meant to do this yesterday, but I just, after running errands, I just couldn't <laughs> get myself to want to do it because this is gonna literally take about maybe three hours to do, but it's a really, really simple recipe. You just have to make sure you know you peek in on the pot every now and then so let's go ahead and get started i cut about a bag of apples and then i'm just going to go ahead and put some spices into the pot and that's pretty much it so pretty much all that you do is just throw in your apples and i rinse them and cut them into um four equal slices for the most part. I didn't worry about getting all the seeds and the stems out because we're going to strain this in a few hours. So that doesn't really matter. Um, and then after that, you can add your orange slices and all those things if that is something that you're interested in. I don't have any oranges on me, so I'm gonna just let this be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my spices. I like a nice, sweet and spicy apple cider so I'm going to add two cinnamon sticks one all right two that was a little bit chunkier 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my allspice. I'm gonna open the big side. Okay, I think that feels about right. Like if I need to add a little bit more, then I'll add a little bit more. But you really don't need too much allspice. Then I'm gonna add, I have whole cloves in here. I never use whole cloves, so I'm trying to figure out how much to use. I think about that for right now is pretty much good. Just, you know, a few. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some ground nutmeg. I wish I had whole nutmeg. I feel like that would be a better way to get the flavor in here. I like quite a bit of nutmeg. And then just for a, just a bit more razzle dazzle because I do like cinnamon. I'm going to add a bit of ground cinnamon as well. Uh, then very, very last thing is I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. I don't know if it matters if you have light or dark, but I'm just adding what I have in the cabinet, which is dark brown sugar. If you don't want any added sugar, that's fine. We don't have to add this. Okay, I think that's about enough. The recipe I looked at said about a half a cup. I feel like that was about a half a cup. It's just all stuck up in here. All right. That's the last of that in the bag, so I can toss that. And then... Very lastly, you want to go ahead. So the recipe I looked at said you want about two inches of water above your fruit, but that's kind of a hard measurement to gauge because the fruit is obviously gonna to float to the top for the most part. So I feel like this is probably a decent amount of water. If I need to add additional water, then I will. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and mix this up just a little bit more to make sure that that's all get it in there all marinated and stuff and then i'm just going to go ahead and turn this on so you want to make sure you bring that apple cider to a boil so that way all the, you know all your flavors and your apples can soften up a little bit and then you want to put it on simmer for about two to three hours after that and cover it up with a lid so i'm going to check in with you all after it gets to boiling and just show you all how it's looking but i'm so excited the house is going to smell so good and i feel like that is just such a good way to feel better about your environment of course to clean it up and everything but also just to you know bring a little spit of smell goods a little bit of that holiday aroma into the home i feel like that is a great way to boost your spirits during this winter season i really wanted to do an aesthetic video for y'all but it's slowly turning into just a raw realistic vlog and just to be totally transparent i really wanted to give y'all the aesthetics but my capacity right now is just not able to do that i'm not able to do that but what i did do for myself was i twisted my hair up granted it was for a campaign but i'm so glad i did this i feel like it helps me keep my hair a little bit more organized and put away i am going to do a twist out either later today or tomorrow so i'm super excited to see what my twist out is going to look like i haven't done twists in such a long time it's probably been about six months maybe even a year since i've done like twist outs and twists and all that stuff because i've really been about my wash and goes here lately um but yeah look at the twist they're looking real juicy and nice i tried a new product for this campaign as well and my hair is is really soft if i do say so myself so you know when it comes to self-care you really gotta just sit down and be like what 
do I have capacity for to be able to make myself feel good and you never want your self-care to be like too taxing on yourself right so doing my something like my hair makes me feel good having my hair done makes me feel even better like when I take these twists out y'all better be ready for me y'all better be ready for me <laughs> but yeah I'm just so inspired by that that's why I wish y'all could smell this right now. It's so good. All right. Let me get my little oven mitt because this is hot, okay? You don't want to burn yourself. Can y'all see that? It looks so good. So what I need to do is to actually smash the apples at this point. Okay, so what I need to do at this point is actually smash all the apples just with like a potato smasher just because we want all that flavor and stuff and then later on we'll go ahead and just, you know, drain it and not drain it, strain it um, so that way we can get all the solids out of the liquid, right? But we still want all that juicy, look at these hands, that's how you know I'm excited. We want all those juicy apple little bits. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna get to smashing apples. Oh yeah, you can like, as soon as I break that apple, what do you call it, that apple meat? I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's like releasing so much more of the aroma. It's so good. Let me get, put my oven mitt back on because this steam is eating up my hand. It's eating it up. Mm hmm it's releasing so much of that aroma already and it's starting to reduce a little bit so you're starting to get that color a lot more in the liquid at first it was really you know watery eee! I'm so excited look at me doing festive things is literally changing my whole mood because I know I was a little you know down in the dumps this morning but this is literally changing my whole mood and it's making me so happy right now okay I'm almost done I think smashing up these apples color y'all this is about to be freaking delicious okay that is so good that's so good that's so good oh. <laughs> i really did that i honestly really truly did that it needs a little bit more sugar it needs a little bit more sugar but the flavor the flavor My hair looks so good. This is the first time in a long time that I did a twist out, so I'm really excited with the results. I'm about to go ahead and eat dinner. I think an important key to trying to beat seasonal depression is making sure you have a hearty, good meal with a lot of vegetables in it, especially during this winter time and enjoying it with some of your loved ones. I hope you enjoyed all these self-care tips for the winter and I hope no. I hope you all enjoy some of these self-care tips for the winter. If you like this type of content, go ahead and make sure that you like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye y'all!